Hello everybody and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. Um, this is Denise Cox, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Canada. Welcome to Bird Nest Designs. Um, tonight, or I guess it's not night, this afternoon I've got a really fun Halloween card to share with you. And for those of you who usually join me and are watching again, I've had to change up my setup here a little bit with my camera because the way I was used was doing it just wasn't going to work today. So I'm hoping that this way allows the video and the sound to stay consistent throughout. And the trade-off is that you're going to have to watch me do a little flip um, with the camera when I go down to the desk view. So if you can bear with me for that, then all is good. I'm just going to get this up on my screen in front of me so I can see your comments. And see who's watching along. When you join in, please say hello and let me know you're here. And just give me a sec. Refresh this. There we go. Okay. All right. So I've got it up on my computer so I can see the comments as they come in. And I'm here live with you and excited to share what's happening and to share a really fun Halloween card with you. So I know it's just about the end of summer and already I'm thinking about Halloween and it's really because I fell in love with the Best Witches stamp set from the catalog and I have been so excited to use it since the day I got it. Finally, I figured why not, right? We can do the Halloween card anytime and it'll be here before we know it with how time is just passing by. Um, so tonight's video is going to be a short one. I am busy, busy, busy trying to get ready. I leave for a backstage um, Stamping Up Global Leadership event tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I am heading to New Orleans and I am super excited, but I didn't want to miss my tutorial Tuesday and I didn't want to miss stamping with all of you. So if you're here live, hello and welcome. If you're watching the replay, thank you for watching and please leave me a comment and um, I'll answer them. I'm so excited to show you guys this card. We're gonna do a really simple blending technique on the background. We're gonna use some decorative masks and a blending brush, and we're gonna create some really fun cards. Thank you for sharing the video, Sonia. I appreciate that so much. All right, everybody, so let me go. Now, if you get a little bit seasick, you may wanna close your eyes for a sec. I'm hoping that this is gonna go smoothly. So I'm just going to tilt the camera down now. So we have the desk. Let me just see if I can get that uh, just about there. I just need it to stay in place now. I've been trying to get this figured out all afternoon. But of course, it's not quite working. So give me a sec. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, I still need practice with this. Okay, hopefully when I get back, everything will be working and we won't have to do this crazy um, camera moving. Or maybe I'll get this one figured out and it'll all be good. Okay, here we are. <laughs> you can open your eyes now if you had them closed. So here is the card that we are going to create. The product I chose for this week to feature on my blog is Best Witches. Aren't they adorable? I think they are super, super cute, and I love the fun little sentiments that have come along with it. So if you follow me on my blog, you will have seen that on Monday I shared this card. So I've created this fun little hand-drawn border, and the inside is like this. I just think they are so adorable, and they are really fun to color. Of course, I chose to color with my stamping blends because they are by far my favorite. But you could use your stamp and write markers, you could use watercolors, you could use um, blending brush, anything you want. But here's the card we're going to create tonight. So as I said, this is going to be a really short, quick tutorial. Some of it I've gone ahead and done already. So the card opens like this. And the background here is what we're going to focus on today. So I've got a basic black card base that measures 11 inches by four and a quarter. So just a regular eight and a half by 11 cardstock piece that was cut in half on the long edge. So 
We're going to go ahead and fold that. And of course, we're going to use the bone folder to get a nice crisp fold. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is use Orchid, o Orchid Oasis. So this is a little bit of a different color that I would normally use for Halloween, but it was my in, it is my in color, um, featured color in my club for September and I love it. So I really wanted to incorporate it into a Halloween card. So we're just going to go ahead and add this onto the front of the card using some stamp and seal. And this is just four by five and a quarter. Okay. So the next thing I've got here is a piece of basic white that's three and three quarters by five. So that's just slightly smaller than the Orchid Oasis here. And then I've got a card insert that's four by five and a quarter. And then a, just a scrap piece to do a little stamping on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set this aside and I set this aside. And I'm going to lay both of these pieces out because I do want to do a little bit of stenciling on the inside as well. So... Here are the decorative masks. These are the Artistic Mix decorative masks. They're in the annual catalog. And you get a few designs to choose from. I'll show them to you. So there's this, just squares, which could come in really fun. You could have a lot of creative um, freedom with that. Then there are these cute little um, shapes here. So those would be really great if you wanted to shade in, say in a pink or something and then do a sentiment stamp over top, that would be super fun. And I, as I'm telling you, I'm getting all kinds of ideas floating through my head on what I'm gonna use with those. Then there is this pretty little kind of floral one that you could, you get. So you get all of these in the kit. And then there's this one. And lastly, this is the one we're gonna to use tonight, this kind of plaid looking one. So all of those come in the artistic mix decorative masks in the annual catalog okay so we're going to use black so i'm going to use my memento hello tina thank you for joining us so this is the insert this is the one that's slightly bigger and this is the front so let's start with the front one i'm going to lay this over top so it's covering the whole piece okay and then I'm going to take my blending brush. I love these. You guys, if you've watched my videos, I'm pretty sure you've caught on that I absolutely love these blending brushes. Um, they're super fun and they just are such a wonderful product to get in the ink onto your paper. So again, I'm just getting it inked up. And then I always like to go onto my scratch paper to get that initial kind of burst of color off because I, I want this to be nice and smooth. So then I'm going to just kind of put my finger over top of the stencil and the paper. Now you could use a post-it note, of course you could use tape, but I'm just keeping it real simple today and I'm just going to hold my finger there. So then I'm just going to come over top of the mask and just start blending. And the blending will go as dark as the amount of ink you have on your blending brush. So we're just going to keep going over. Now, I don't want it to be consistent and the same. I want it to have light spots and dark spots. And so I'm just going to kind of wing it here. Oops. And if you move it, you can, it's pretty easy to line back up. Okay. And I just want to get a little bit over here in the corner. So I'm just going to move my hold on the stencil come in here circular motions best sometimes I catch myself doing you know like this but circular motions are definitely the best now we're going to just remove that and look at this fun background we've created so in seconds maybe a minute we created this beautiful background that's going to be really fun on our Halloween card so before we get to putting the rest of the card together I want to add a little bit of this background to the inside of my card. I always like to do something on the inside and I didn't really feel like I wanted to put another witch in there as I've already used both of them on the card front. So I thought, well, why not just a little bit of, carry a little bit of the stenciling throughout into the center. 
I know when I get handmade cards and I open them up and there's something in the center, it's always like a pleasant little surprise. So I like to do the same. So just a little bit here in the bottom right corner. And then we'll remove that. So that's what our insert's going to look like. And there's still lots of room to write our message. Stamp a greeting. You could stamp something else if you wanted to. Um, but super easy to create a really pretty background. Now to clean these, you could just wipe, give it a little spray with some water, wipe it off with paper towel. You could just um, run it under water completely. Um, whatever you want to do, just get that ink off. It doesn't take much at all. Okay, so let's go back to the card and get it all finished up. So we've got our Orchid Oasis already attached. Now we're going to attach the background we created. So again, I'm using my stamp and seal. And we're just going to attach that right in the center, just like that. Now on this, oh, and then we can go ahead while we've got it here. Let's attach the centerpiece to the middle of our card. And this is just a standard card insert. So four inches by five and a quarter. All right, so there's our insert, isn't that fun? And there's the front. So on our scrap piece of paper here, we're gonna stamp these adorable witches. So again, because I'm using stamping blends to color them, I'm going to use my memento. And because the stamps are a little bit on the larger side, I like to ink them up this way to make sure that they get full coverage. So I'm gonna stamp her right here. Oh my gosh, she's just so cute. Just love it. And then we'll stamp the second one. Oops. We'll stamp this one here like that. Oh my goodness. Honestly, ladies, they are, they are just so cute, okay? They're just absolutely adorable. Now, if you like this stamp set, it is available in the July to December catalog. And it's just $29 here in Canada. It's the cling mount, as you saw, so the red rubber. Um, and it's darling. Okay, so we've got those. Now we're going to color them with a the stamping blend. But that is a part that I've done ahead of time because you all have seen me color. You all know how to color. And so I've gone ahead and I've got these cuties already ready to go. Now I will tell you what colors I use in case you want to create this from home. So I've used Orchid Oasis as the blue here. Um, Cajun Craze. Now there's a little trick I did there. So I did Cajun Craze and then I wanted to lighten and brighten it a little bit. So I did go over it with um, the dark pumpkin pie as well just to kind of give it a little bit more brightness. And then I've used the Daffodil Delight. For this one I've just used the Ivory for the skin tone and um, basic black for the hair and the buckle. On this one, same thing, I've got black, the Cajun craze with the pumpkin pie, and Daffodil Delight. Then for this skin tone, I use the, um, the medium blend, so the SU600 marker, which is also a stamping blend. Um, again, soft suede for the hair, and then same colors I used here, only I used more pumpkin pie on the flames. So it came together really well and I think they're super adorable. And then I've got a piece here that was three quarter inch um, on the black here. So three quarters of an inch by three inches. And I've heat embossed the sentiment best witches on it. So again, I've done that ahead of time as well. So um, just stamped with my Versamark ink pad, dusted it over with the white embossing powder um, flicked it off so all the excess um, came off and then I set it with my heat tool. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and assemble this card. As I mentioned, this is a quick tutorial tonight. I have a uh, puppy training class here shortly and then I have to finish getting ready for New Orleans tomorrow. So busy, busy um, afternoon and evening here at my house today. So there's our best witches attached. And then these guys we're gonna attach with some Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, did, did you know that Stamping Up has black Stampin' Dimensionals? And that's perfect when you have a darker image that you don't want, um, you don't wanna see the white. 
So because everything on this card is relatively dark, we're going to attach some of these larger ones. Now when you order the black Stampin' Dimensionals, see how they are? They're black. I love it. When you order them, they're a little bit more expensive than the white because they come with the minis and the large ones. So you get both sizes. So then we're just going to pop this little witch here right over top there. And we'll put a couple of these. Oh, and I want to I want to make sure her cauldron has a poppet too because we don't want it sagging off here. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and pop her down here in this corner. Oh my goodness, so cute. And that's it. That's how simple this card is to create. So again, with the background was the main feature of today's video. I just want to show you how quick and easy that can be um, and how much difference it makes on the card itself. So bear with me. I am going to flip the camera back to me one more time. Hopefully this will All right, so I'm back. Hope that went a little smoother than it did going to the desk view. So hopefully you guys didn't get too seasick. Um, <laughs> as I said, I will work on this, either this technique or trying to get the other, the other way figured out here when I get back from New Orleans. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching today. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the card that I shared with you and that fun technique. If you have anything from the Stampin' Up! celebration brochure that is on your wish list, please don't wait. There is only seven days left because it ends on August 31st. So get those orders in. Remember, you get free product with every $60 you purchase. And um, some of the items are free with $120. But all of that information is on my website, createwithbirdsnest.ca. And if you have any questions, you can reach out and ask me. I'm always happy to help you. And that's all I got today. So thanks everybody for being here, um, for joining me this afternoon to do a little stamping and have a wonderful week. I will be back next week, Tuesday. I will be back home um, and I'll have some news to share with you. I'm sure some uh, adventure stories <laughs> for sure. So again, thanks everybody and have a wonderful remainder of your week. Cheers. <laughs>